back to my channel thank you so much for coming back um i'm not gonna say much uh, i just want to say something about this the, this young girl um was it whitney adeniro i mean most of us we must have heard about her that went to for her school into her school sometime like thursday and then up until now we still don't know what happened and this young lady passed you know i listened to the mom's um narration of what happened and it was it's very hard wrenching for me as a mother it's very hard wrenching for me and then also listening to the father you know the father made a the father made a um, a, um an audio post you know where she was talking to with talking with the talking with the um the principal of the school one there are some things that the father said in this his audio that really touched me so one of the things that the man said there was the fact that the school was actually trying to discourage this man from going for autopsy. One. Secondly, um, the school up until now is still trying not to say, okay, for the sake of argument, let's just say for the sake of because some of them, they, they said the school was telling them that the child collapsed and then whatever they took the child which the father, the mother confirmed is like merely an immunization center. And it makes me to ask, why would a school that charge for my little um, um, research about that school, Christland, their school fees is between 150000 to 300000 A school that makes such an amount of money, how much does it cost to bring medical personnel in an environment where you're having an inter-house bus? An inter-house bus is a strenuous um, sports, sporting event where, where the children participate in, for those who do not know. At an event like that, there's possibility of people being dehydrated, there um, possibility of people getting injured, and I mean, there's possibility of anything happening. And then this school, as much as they charge, as beautiful as the school may be, because I want to believe that this school is a very big school. It's a very big school in this, big in the sense that it's a school where the rich go take their students. And I think it's high time that people begin to make demands of where you take your children to school, begin to demand of the kind of things that you want to experience, that you want um, to see is in, an, in such an environment, right? Because I do not understand where, why a school as big, as expensive as Christ land will not have some certain things in place. It seems as if they, even the school nurse was clueless about what is happening. The um, principal was clueless about what was going on. Everybody was clueless. They keep saying this girl collapsed. And then they took this child to a place. And the supposed doctor was looked it was according to the mother said, um, Madam, from the way I'm seeing it, it looks like it's heart attack. And my question when I heard that was that how did that doctor get to know that it is heart attack? Did you carry out any diagnostic test? Did you did they tell you anything? Even if they told you anything, this is what the parents is asking for. The only thing the parents is asking for is Tell me what happened to my child. Okay, let's let's just so just say for the sake of argument that this child actually had heart attack. Let's just say for the sake of argument that the child had heart attack, right? So most times before people have heart attack, they will always have this complaint of oh my chest, too, this that you know there must be something. Were there not people around this child when she may have maybe either moaned out of pain or complained of something or something before the child eventually goes down? I mean, we had nobody around him. Was she locked up in a room all by herself? Like, how come nobody has? The only thing that this family is asking for is just explanation. Just give us a, a clear narrative of what happened to this child. And it seems as if that is so difficult for the school to come up with at this point in time, which I do not understand the reason why that should be, you know. And then also, I feel like there is a conspiracy going on because for the fact that this school is trying to uh, uh, um, stop the girl's mother, stop the girl's, sorry, the girl's father from going for an autopsy. That is worrisome for me. That is worrisome for me to think that the school is trying to stop the father from going for an autopsy. Why would you stop the child father try telling them that, oh, they should just go and bury the child and then take it as one of those, um, one of those things, um, um, one of those things that that happened you know i mean is the will of god blah 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 who are you to tell them that is their decision to make that is their decision to make you don't tell them what to do it is their right it is their prerogative to figure out what happened to their child i will let you guys listen to the voice of the father 
the father had a conversation with the school principal. It is so painful. And I join my voice with the voice of everyone else that knows about this to say, send my condolences to their generals. And I tell them that they deserve to know what happened to their child. As a mother, as a parent, I deserve to know what happened to my child. Anyway, listen to the voice, the father's voice. That's all I want. No, 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 you don't need to come to see me, just talk to me. Just talk to me. My dad is here. Coming to see me, coming to see me will not help Chris Land at all. Chris Land have been doing this, they've been going free, but you see, I will fight. I've been caught. You blame him. Before I give up the bread, I will bite with the last thing I mean. I will bite hard. I will bite at every soul we feel it in that school. I feel the pain of this. If man. you have power, if the management have power, let them go to anywhere in this nation. Anywhere. Presidency, anywhere. Anywhere. Wherever they will go, I will not stop fighting. I will not. I won't stop fighting. That girl changed the course of my life. I live. That girl made me a man. That girl came into my life and changed everything for me. There is nothing I will not do. When she came to your school, the first duty you gave us as parents was to buy laptop for them. You see what she brought to school? She didn't bring HP to your school. She told me I should buy her ESA. I said, no, I'll give you the best. Family is number one on my agenda. If you come to my vision board, the first thing on my vision board, on my mission board, is my family. Because I grew up not to have one. So as I become a man, I promise myself, my first focus in life will be a family. I will create a beautiful family. And I did. That vision came, came to pass. I was denied a lot of things as a child. And I grew up to know God, and I promised myself I will create a family that my children would lack nothing. That was why I brought her to Christland. Our younger brother is just about to come to Christland. So please, I'm begging you, tell me what happened to my daughter. Maybe that will make me sin right now. I'm begging. I'm listening to you, madam. I'm about to like you. I tell you what happened to her. Who will like you? Mrs. Amo, you are just an employee. Do you have share in Greenland? Okay. You don't have share, Your husband is related to the owner of the school, right? No, Abby. You are an employee. Am I right? Am I? Why do you want to carry a load that is not yours? Why? Tell me what happened. You are appointed in that school as the principal. Do you know your duty? Your duty is to oversee every affair and activity of that school. That is what the principal does. You arrange, you organize, you make work, you listen. You are positioned as a leader to govern, to principal. So it means nothing pass you by. Mm. It means nothing know. pass you by. How come she doesn't know? Like. Uh, they must if be hiding something. Beside you and they are telling you don't talk. They are hiding something. They just want to drag you into their mud. They want to drag you into their mud. If the concession and the hold you sign for the school says do not talk, even if we are killing people, and you want to remain by that hold, I tell you, I will turn the hold around. It will come back to everybody involved. You are the number one person. Kindly. 
tell me what happened to my child and I will just be fine. That's I will address my decision. Tell them what happened. Give them. Why is it difficult? When I make money. When I make money, I put aside money for troubles. I put aside money for troubles. It's time to go back to that account and make it work for me. Oma asu yo. Mrs. Amoyo. Oma asu gogo yo. You are not talking to me. You are not telling me what I want to hear. Tell me what happened to my child. You might not be there. They will have given you a detailed of information. Of course, they must have told you something. Say child. something. Come on. My child is in your care. What What have you been saying? What have you been saying? The eyewitnesses. What did they say? The first responder. What did they say? It's all right. It's all right. If that's what they told you, there's no problem. Maybe I will now beg you for something. Today is Saturday. This is exactly 1442. You will do me a favor. Press who you press. Talk to who you will talk to. Either student, high witness, anybody there. Talk to all of them. Press them. Ask them questions. Let them tell you the truth. Madam, the moment you hear that truth, this is my direct line. Do not hesitate to call me on the phone. Pass that truth to me before Monday morning.